Welcome back everybody. This is part three of our mask RC and in tutorial series. In the last video we showed you how to actually train a model and now we're going to take that model and run inferencing on it or basically feeding images to it and seeing what kind of detections we can get uh, as our output. So if we go into the repo and open up inference.ipython notebook we can see that we have all the code uh, to do this for us. So much like in the train video we need to import our dependencies. Uh, a lot of these are going to be some of the same libraries related to Coco and Mascar CNN. So let's get those loaded up. And then let's set some uh, more constants. So we trained on three classes, so we'll set that to three. And then we can supply uh, the path to one of our H5 weights file. Um, if we do supply a path, then it'll load that particular uh, H5 file, which is saved after every epoch. So we trained over 80 epochs, so we'll have 80 H5 files. If we just set it to none, then it'll basically just grab the, the, uh, the latest H5 file, so epoch uh, 80. Let's also supply uh, paths to our annotations file and our annotations uh, image directory. Um, this will basically just allow us to create uh, a data set object and then get an array of all the class names uh, automatically rather than having to type those in manually. And then let's also supply a test image directory. This is basically the image directory where you'll have all of your test images that you want to inference on, and it'll basically grab a random image from this image directory and then run inferencing on that. We also named our model test model last time, so we'll set that as the model name so it can actually figure out which weights file to grab. So just some more additional setup like last time, this is the exact same. Uh, we can specify which graphics card we want to run this on. We're just going to run it on the first graphics card um, at index 0, basically. Now we'll have uh, our inference config. So this is where we set the model name, uh, GPU count, images per GPU, number of classes, uh, image uh, dimensions, things like that. You won't, for inferencing, you really won't have to change all that much. You can, however, uh, change this detection min confidence, which will uh, affect how your output looks. So for us, we have a detection minimum confidence of 10%. Um, and so that basically just means if you are at least 10% confident that one of your detections is something, then go ahead and display that. Then we can again display our configuration just to make sure everything is okay. Then create a class to load up our data set. And this is the part where I mentioned where we can create a data set object and then create an array of class names so that we don't have to basically make this manually. In the case, you know, we only trained this model on three classes, so it really wouldn't matter to create an array, you know, that was like background, small structure, medium structure, etc. But in the case that you know you have a very large uh, you know set of classes, you know like Coco for example has has many many classes, uh, that'd be kind of a pain in the butt to have to write um, a class array for each data set you want to do. So this way it just makes it automatically for us, which is kind of nice. Then we'll basically make a mask RC in a model just like how we did last time, except now we're going to do it in inference mode. And pass in our model directory uh, where it can load up those weights files uh, and our configuration. So because we didn't specify a specific weights file, uh, it's going to go ahead and grab the very last weights file. Uh, so at epoch 80, it'll load up this one. So go ahead let that run and now we can actually run a detection so we set our test image directory and then we basically said okay uh, grab a random image from this path and then run detections and then visualize those detections on screen Cool, and there we have it. So very easy to run this. So you just supply 
uh, a test image directory, it'll grab uh, a random image from that directory and then display it on the screen, uh, depending on what your configuration is. So this is part three. Uh, part four is going to be testing our model, seeing how accurate it is. So we'll see you in the next video.